One of the things that uh, you're going to get out of my class is I try to emphasize practical. Practical skills are important because what we do in IT and cybersecurity is applied science, right? You can't really book smart your way to the top. You can memorize a bunch of things. So what we're going to do in this particular video is to download a tool that's known as a packet tracer, right? Packet tracer and to set it up because there will be a lot of things that we're going to do as a way of practicing uh, the things that you're learning. And Packet Tracer is a tool, networking tools from Cisco that will help us do that kind of stuff. Uh, but that's not the only thing we're going to do, but we're going to use it for a lot of the labs that's going to be part of, of this training. So for now, let's go ahead and go to google.com. I'm going to head over to Google, type in google.com. And once you're here, I want you to download a uh, Packet Tracer. So type in download Cisco um Packet Tracer. Uh, this is from a Network Academy. So NetCAD, our Network Academy. Uh, packet, if I can spell Packet right, there we go. And I'm gonna press Enter. It, it, it's, it's a little bit hard to find the download page. They usually just hide that some somewhere. So, but let me see if I can find the link here. And it looks like I can't find it. So guess what? I'll put the link to the download in a section because when you 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 Google this resource hub, they basically tend to be hiding uh, that. Let me go back and just add resource hub here. Let's see if they're gonna bring that up. And it looks like it's still hidden. Yeah, it's still hidden. Let me see. No, that's not the that's not even the the link. So what I will do. I'll put the link uh, to this in this video description. So you can click on that link, then it will take you to this location and as a resource hub, uh, and you can download it there as well. I don't know why Cisco does this. It's a nightmare to try to get to download the packet tracer, but they made it free. We thank them for it. Uh, they should just make it a little bit easier to be able to find the link. Anyway, once you get here, packet tracer is going to be down here. And this is the Cisco Packet Tracer. You can download it for your Windows as well as for your Mac. All you need to do is just set up an account, a NetCAD account. So before you download it, just go ahead and click on sign in. And then once you click on that, click on sign up. You can also sign up with Google or just you know create your account. So I'm gonna go back here and sign in with my account. So type in my user account here and go ahead and put in my password there sign in now that you're signed in scroll down again until you can see the packet tracer and then you click on the download of the operating system that you're using i'm using windows so i'm going to click on download for windows 64 bit it's going to take me that into my downloads folder i'm going to go ahead and save that here i'm going to click on save Okay, after you've saved that there, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it this so you can get to see it. This is it right here. All you do, double click on it. And then the installation of wizard is gonna pop up. Then we're gonna get into the installing packet tracer uh, as well. But make sure you set up the account for, you, uh, for your Netcat Academy as well. All right, there's a pop up here that says, okay, uh, you sure you want to do that? It's a yes or no. We're going to say yes. We want to download Packet Tracer. Okay. And there is the, the the wizard that I was talking about here, the setup wizard right there. Okay. Just if it doesn't pop up, just click on that, then uh, it, it's going to come here. Right now, they're asking us to agree to the terms. I'm going to go ahead and click yes, I agree. Then click next. They still telling us where they where we want them to save this packet tracer in the program file in the C drive. I'm gonna say, yep, that's okay with me. You want it to be saved as that name. I'm gonna say, yep, that's okay by clicking next. Then you know, go ahead and create the shortcuts for the desktop, but also for the uh, this the quick launch uh, this right here, so that uh, they can put the uh, uh, shortcuts, the logo packet tracer logo there as well. I'm gonna make sure these two are selected. I click next. Then I click on install. All right, so give it a minute for the, the packet tracer to install. It should take about just one minute. It's not a long program. So I'm gonna wait when that's finished. We will finalize this. 
And that's it. And after waiting for a little bit, it looks like Packet Tracer is done. Now there's this Launch Packet Tracer automatically. It's selected. I'm going to click Yes. Go ahead, let's go ahead and finish this. Click on Finish. And they're thinking, all right, uh, trying to launch uh, Packet Tracer. But before they do that, they're like, okay, would you like to run this as a multi-user? I don't mind. I'm the only one using this machine. So I'm going to click on Yes. And here we are, right? It's, uh, it's bringing up Packet Tracer for us. And this is Packet Tracer, right? So when you run Packet Tracer for the first time, they're going to ask you to sign in. So the account that you created, the Network Academy account that you created, I want you to sign in for as, as, as a skills for all. Right? Don't sign in as a Network Academy. And for some reason, I find it, you know, there's some issues with it. For some reason, I don't know why. But go ahead and sign in with a Cisco for all. And then when you click on that, it's going to take you back to the website. I'll try to get you to sign in. In our case, uh, we're, all, we're already logged in automatically. So you're just not going to do anything. It's just going to take us back to Packet Tracer and sign us in automatically. And now we do have a Packet Tracer up and running. Right? You, it's important that you do sign in because if you don't, it's not going to work. Now, this is the tool that we're going to play with. This is the tool that comes with a lot of the things that we're going to be learning in this Network Plus. So be sure to set this up and make sure you have it running. For example, you have all the networking devices here. When you click on that, you got things like routers, switches. Let me go ahead and zoom in. I'm going to click on Options. Go ahead and go to Preferences. And right here, I'm going to go to Font. I'm going to go ahead and push that to maybe 10, maybe 11. Click on Apply. There we go. I'm going to close this. Now you can see this a little bit better. So if I click on the network devices right there, you can see I have all the routers and they're right here. And then I have all the switches right here. I can have the really right here. Then I have the hubs. Nobody ever uses hubs anymore. But we have a wireless devices. And we also have a security devices. But here's the, the kick. A lot of the things that we have are Cisco product. For example, when you look at the switch, the 2960 is one of those classic switch from Cisco. And the way you added that, let me go ahead and remove that. Click on delete. All you got to do, you pick it, and they're going to kind of have that sign like that. Then you click somewhere on this white space. They are like that. Then they're going to add to that particular uh, thing. Okay. So let's say you want to add the computers or well, you go to end, excuse me, end devices. Then you have your uh, end devices are self selected there. You have your PCs, your laptop, your servers, your other things here. So you click on the PC, you click it here. You click on the laptop, you click it here. Okay, let's say you want to connect these things. You go here, you pick the cable. Now we will be learning all these cables, the console cable, the cop, uh, copper straight through cables, the crossover cable the fiber optic cables and all these other ones. Uh, but if you want to pick the automatic cable here, you just click on the flash icon, then you can pick which devices you're trying to connect it to. Again, you don't have to be doing what I'm doing right, right now. I'm just kind of showing you this as an example here. Okay, here we go. Just so I connected these two computers together. Now this thing is not working. So I'm going to click back on that. There we go. And this is actually interesting because because these are two same devices, they're connected using this crossover cable. When you're connecting like two things that are the same, like a computer and another computer, they're gonna use that kind of cable. If you're connecting things that are different, they're gonna use a copper uh, uh, cable as well. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. We have a lot to talk about, but just make sure this tool is up and running because we will be using this tool for a lot of the labs that we're gonna do in this class.